so much. Thanks to him, I was able to get my magical powers back. But if Ferdor hadn't made it in time to pick us up on his flying ship, we wouldn't have been able to escape. We would have stayed on the dark side. Look, Ferdor! I think that's a suitable landing stop straight ahead. I'm in my bedroom. And Ray, Ferador? Was it just a dream? Is anybody here?
Mom, is that you? But how is this possible? You disappeared years ago. Where would I have gone? I was with you this whole time, dear. How are you feeling, Alice? You hit your head so hard. My heart stopped when you fell off that horse. I barely remember anything. And then that dream. You were unconscious for two days. I was so worried, dear. But the doctor warned that after you wake up, you may have memory problems. Mom, I had a dream and it felt so real. I feel like I'm still there with my friends escaping from the dark forces. In my dream, I found a box where I discovered a strange stone. The stone gave me the power of fire. But in getting that magical power, I was also chased by misfortune and danger. My father, some armed strangers broke into our house and killed him. In tears, I ran to find your brother, Uncle Colin. He helped me. Together, we fought the darkness and its soldiers until he fell under the spell of the dark forces. The last thing I remember is how I, along with my newfound friends, Ray and Ferador, escaped the dark side. Alice, dear, it was only a dream. Your father is long gone, it's true, but he wasn't killed. One day, he just disappeared, but you were too young to remember it. You just can't imagine how real that dream was. Why don't you tell me the whole story while we're on our way? Here's the key to the front door. Get the horse ready and I'll pack necessary things.
Huh. This is the same looking box I found the fire stain in. I can't believe it was just a dream. Empty? Alice? I'm so glad you've recovered. But we're not safe here in this house anymore. There's a lot of talk in the settlement about the sudden disappearances of five people. It seems that a squad of snake soldiers has once again come to our lands. They wouldn't dare show up at the village. But isolated as we are, at the edge of the forest, we can expect trouble. I think we should go into hiding for a while. Mom, we can run and hide. But what about Uncle Colin? His house is in the same situation as ours. I'm surprised you even remember about him. Your uncle moved to the Clifftown many years ago. And unfortunately, we haven't been in touch since then. Well, well my uncle's house isn't far. I'll run over. Check if anyone's there, just in case. This is my diary. I recorded everything that happened to me in it, but the pages are blank.
This is the place. It doesn't look like anyone's living here. Why are my memories so vivid? No, it couldn't have just been a dream. Can you tell me where my uncle is? It looks like his house was abandoned a long time ago. Your... who? My name is Camilla, and this house belonged to my father. At least that's what I was told, but as long as I can remember, I've lived here alone. Your father? Huh. I don't understand. My name's Alice. My mother told me that Uncle Colin moved to the cliff town and never came back. It's not safe here, Camilla. Come with me. There's a crime squad operating in the area. Anyone who lives away from the village is in danger. Okay, I need to get my father's manuscripts first. They're stored in a music box. It has a secret compartment.
here are Dad's papers. Look, Alice. She's a fighter. Those two kidnapped my mother. Sorry, Camilla, but I'm going after them. Sure. I can't move my arm. What happened? I was on my way to the cliff town. The annual great fair begins in two days. And suddenly, two horsemen literally jumped out at me. Well, to avoid a collision, I had to take a sharp right. But the space on this narrow forest road was too small. There were only two of them? They kidnapped my mother. No, one of them had a woman tied up on his horse. Please, help us catch up with them. I'd help you girls, but look, the car is not operational. I'd have to put the wheel back in place, and I can't move my arm. Well, maybe you can do it? The wheel can only be attached when the car is lifted up. I can't do it with this useless arm. My mother and I have lived alone for a long time now, and she could always handle a man's job when she needed to. I think we might have the right tool for the car.
Sorry, but I can't follow you any further. In this state, I'm of little use. I'll make a rest stop here, try to nurse my arm. It'll need some time to rest and recover. I think the rider has galloped up. Up there, at the top. Looks like there's some kind of building. So many snakes. Camilla, what do we do? I've lived alone for a long time and had to learn a lot. I think I know how to flush them out, but we need to go down and see if my idea works. Oh, you're back. We couldn't get inside the building. The entrance is teeming with snakes. We came back down, since we couldn't find anything at the top that could scare them off. But back in the day, I spent a lot of time in the forest scavenging for food. And I noticed that hedgehogs have one characteristic feature. 
In the autumn, when they tasted heavily fermented fruit, they became fearless. They weren't afraid of any other animal, not even humans. You know, not far from here, I saw some kind of burrow. We can go check it. In the morning, I walked around the neighborhood searching for something to eat. Found some wild rose bushes and an apple tree. I can share some apples with you. Excellent. But don't we need fermented apples, Camilla? Because that would take time. If we could find some alcohol, we wouldn't have to wait. Let's go look around. The snake soldiers may have a hiding place down here.
Somebody help me. And yet, the gut feeling had not deceived me. Everything that happened to me from the moment I woke up in my room turned out to be an illusion implanted in me. This whole charade was planned so that I myself fell into this trap. That woman who was gloating when I showed up. Who is she? Ray and Ferador, they have turned into stone statues. I see some kind of settlement directly ahead. I'm not sure where the spirit of the evil lady rushed to, but I'll try to cross to the opposite side of the lake. I hope I can find some locals there.
Hi, I'm Alice. Roger, how did you get here? I came about these lands together with my friends. We landed on a field, the one that's behind the frozen lake. The glade behind the lake? And how did you manage to get out? Since we were little, all of us were told not to even approach that place, or you'll turn to stone. That's exactly what happened to my friends. You know, for a while I was having a dream, an illusion somehow planted in me. As a result, it seems I released a woman's spirit from a mirrored confinement. Can you tell me what you know about that place? The one that's full of stone statues. Uh, I'm not really too informed, but I see that this can't be for the good. How about I take you to the head advisor? A couple of hours ago, we experienced a strong earthquake. And now, you see, the bridge is in a disastrous state. Hold the clamp. We'll need it to repair the bridge. Now, tighten that part of the bridge and secure it. I'll do the other side. It has to be done at the same time. The head advisor's office is in the town hall, and it's located on the level above. As you can see, the staircase got damaged during the earthquake. The rock wall is strong. Uh, sorry, Alice, but first I'd better go down and see if anyone got hurt. Once I'm back, I can help you. Meanwhile, you can wait for me at my place, okay? Here's the key. What an unusual key. It's wood, as if it had consciousness. I don't really want to waste time. I'll still try to get upstairs. And Roger, I hope, will figure out where I went and catch up. It must be the town hall. Excuse me? Is anyone here? 
Yes, we are. Can you help us out? The entrance door slammed shut during the earthquake, and we still can't find the key. Wait. I'll try to work something out. Key? Yes, I went upstairs, but the town hall's front door was locked, and I tried to make a key by myself. There are people locked inside there, and I promised to help them. Come on! What's out there, Roger? What happened? The destruction was bad, but it could have been more catastrophic. Everyone seems intact. Who is that with you? It was you who released us? My name is Alice. Yes, it was me who helped you. But I'm afraid it was I, too, who caused the earthquakes. It all started when the three of us, my friends and I, saw what looked like a safe spot, and we landed on a field. And then we noticed it was full of stone statues. After that, I was transported to some other reality. Wait, are you saying that you just walked out of that glade? Sounds like a wild fantasy of a girl. And where are your companions? They turned to stone. And that terrible woman that lured me in is to blame, right? The Gorgon? You saw her? One way or another, you should also have been turned to stone. I don't know the reason. Perhaps because I have certain powers. Oh yes, the powers. To tell fairy tales? So where do you think the spirit of Gorgon is now? I just saw how she emerged from the mirrored surface and rushed away, turning into mist. Then we have a serious problem. Is there any way to help my petrified friends, Ray and Ferador? They're the last thing that concerns us now. I appreciate your opening the door, guys, but assuming you're not lying, the spirit of Gorgon is freed from her imprisonment. We must immediately alert everyone about the impending danger. Roger, what do I do now? Uh, I don't know how to help you. Although, let's go see our scientist. If he doesn't have any advice, then no one does. But to see him, we'll have to cross to the opposite side of the gorge. Helbert prefers to live in solitude.
you can see a suspension bridge control cabin up ahead. It was equipped by Albert, and if needed, we can move the bridge. That's his home. I hope Albert is there. Albert? Closed. That's strange. He's not on our side. I checked everything out half an hour ago. Let's try to get inside. What if something happened to him? This is the plumber's house. They say he was one of those who unintentionally went into the glade of the stone statues, and, well, he didn't come back. didn't I think of that? Albert is in a trance. He induces himself into this state on purpose. That's how he gets his worthy ideas. And we can bring him out of trance back into his senses? Mm, for cases when he goes into too deep of a trance, Albert leaves a special pollen. Let's take a look around. There it is, along with detailed instructions. We'll have to gather the necessary ingredients.
Hello, guys. Looks like you've brought me out of a deep trance. <laughs> I think I've finally found an effective way to suppress the uh, aggressive outbursts of higher mammals. And who is this with you, Roger? This is Alice. She came here straight from the field of stone statues. Can you believe it? She and all of us now need your help. I didn't mean to, believe me. But it's because of me the evil spirit of that woman has been set free. The Gorgon? Nothing worse could have happened. You need to know who you have freed. Medusa Gorgon was a hideous creature living in our lands. For a time, she was considered one of the most beautiful women in the world, until she was cursed by the higher powers. And since then, instead of hair on her head, there were snakes sprawling out, and her gaze instantly turned to stone anyone who dared look into the cold eyes of this hideous creature. For many years, she has been instilling fear in local residents. The Gorgon was defeated only due to one man's smart idea, covering himself with a shield that had a smooth, mirror-like surface. He was able to approach the danger of death so close that the Gorgon, looking at the Daredevil's shield, saw her own reflection and turned herself to stone. After that, the Gorgon's body was sealed in the temple, and her spirit was imprisoned in the mirror of that shield. But nothing has changed. Anyone who unknowingly comes too close to the shield is turned into a stone statue. Even being in the mirror world, Gorgon has continued to enchain human souls into stone while waiting for a chance to destroy her prison. For centuries, there have been pilgrims who, by accidentally wandering into the temple, have become other victims of the Gorgon spirit. And then you came along. And with the freed spirit, if we assume that the ancient warning is true, then if the spirit of the Gorgon manages to find and connect with her petrified body, Before the last ray of the sun, the creature will regain strength, more powerful than ever, and we shall face certain death. The Gorgon will be thirsty for revenge. We have so little time. What do we do? Can it be prevented somehow? Well, we must go to the Gorgon Temple and hope that her spirit hasn't found the place yet. If I recall it correctly, all the related information was buried in the temple, along with the petrified body of that terrible creature. But we don't have any time to spare. But the temple is behind the dark forest, and at this time of day, the poisonous bats wake up and start hunting for prey. We'll turn to Kazian. He has special crystals that scare them off very well. Hello, Kazian. <laughs> I'll get straight to the point. Are you taking any measures to stop the spirit of the Gorgon? We are, but I don't have time nor, frankly speaking, desire to report on them. But would you still let us help you? Well, we want to get to the temple, but in order to do so, we really need crystals to go through the dark forest. Two teenagers and an old man against an ancient beast? (laughs) I get it. You want to top off the temple's galley with three new statues. Well, it's your choice. Here's the key. Crystals are in the treasury. Just don't get in my way.
It looks like this is the place. I saw this be And what exactly are we looking for? Well, there is supposed to be a library somewhere here in the temple. And if there is some way to stop the rebellious spirit, we should... What a sword! Let's take it, just in case.
Hmm. One of the sections is closed. I think the most valuable information must be there. We'll need to get inside.
Roger, Albert, where are you? Yes, Alice. What's wrong? Are you okay? It was just a feeling, I guess. I saw some shadow and remembered how I was once hiding from the darkness. Hmm. We were nearby and didn't notice anything. Oh, look. That's the sarcophagus that holds the petrified body of the Gorgon.
Roger. Roger, hold this. Let the sword be with you for now.
with the exception of some details. Unfortunately, I do not see anything that could prevent the spirit of the Gorgon from reuniting with her body. No way to stop her? No. But here's what's peculiar. That special reflective material that was applied to the surface of the warrior shield. In the book, they call it Merarium. Will we make a similar reflective surface? No. No, that way we'll end up with the same situation as we had the last few centuries. People will continue being turned to stone by accidentally glancing at the reflection that contains the rebellious spirit. There is a large spiral staircase in the hall just above the petrified Gorgon body. If we manage to get Merarium, then we will try to enclose the spirit into it. Just like a mirror prison, we must do it immediately after the spirit reconnects with our body. But first, we need to figure out how to melt the metal which we'll spill on top of the Gorgon right from those stairs. But we can't waste any time. Our last hope will fade away with the last ray of sunshine. And where do we find this murarium? The book says that it was produced not far from here, in the mines. The problem is the poisonous rivers don't reach those territories. And that's where the reign of the dark forces begins. I'll go there. Out of all of us, I'm the only one who's able to resist the darkness. Well, my dear, if you say so. Now let's get back to my place. That's where the shortest path to the entrance of the mine starts. But the pot in which we'll melt the substance better be prepared now. ready. Now let's run to my place. Alice, I'll show you the shortest way, and from there, you'll go searching How exactly do I get to the mines? Climb down through my window, then carefully cross over the river. Mirarium. How much should I bring? According to the records, we need just a little bit it can be mixed with other molten metal, of course, in certain proportions. So I'll try to figure out all the details while you're gone. so beautiful here. I wonder how many oasises like this, where the dark forces haven't reached yet, are left on my planet. And there is the poisonous river. I need to somehow get to the opposite side. I'll try to break down that old tree.
This looks like the entrance to the mine, but it's locked. What do I do?
Alice. You cannot escape. So, did you succeed? Yes, Albert. But as I should have expected, I had to face the dark forces, with Colin in the lead. If not for the poisonous river, they would have caught me. It seems it's the only thing that restrains them from invading your lands. Oh, yes. The book contains records of one of our ancestors. The woman wrote that, accidentally stumbling upon the temple, she came up with a guess that the poison oozing from the snakes on the head of the Gorgon affects the darkness and people suppressed by it in an interesting way, even if for a little while. But it makes people return to their previous selves as if fending off the possession of darkness. And with this heartening discovery, the main difficulty became apparent. The poison oozing from the sleeping body of Gorgon started losing its properties rather shortly and no longer had the power to free the affected minds. Fresh poison was needed. The one that was oozing directly out of the snakes on the head of the Gorgon. And how do we obtain it? Only if we allow the spirit of the Gorgon to reconnect with her body? And this, my friends, is very dangerous. I am ready to take the risk. I want so badly to have a resource that will force the darkness to retreat. Well, we'll need to be crafty. Right before we enclose the spirit and the body of the Gorgon into the trap prepared, we'll cut one of the poisonous snakes off the Gorgon's head. It is extremely difficult to injure the Gorgon, but that sword that we found here, I think it might do the trick. Yes, it won't be easy. As soon as the spirit reunites with its stone body, I'll need to be quick and chop a snake's head off. After that, you and Roger will immediately pour the prepared alloy right on her. Right, Albert? Yes, yes, that will be our plan, although difficult to accomplish. 
But we must hurry. The sun has almost reached the horizon. Albert, what about my petrified friends? Will we help them? I'm sorry, Alice. I've been struggling with this problem for years. I think they can no longer be helped. Now all we have left is to... I'm afraid we're running out of time. The sun is almost set. Alice, come, come down quickly. Remember, you must lure the Gorgon to the right spot. to do my dear how do you plan to fight me prepare to die We managed to defeat the Gorgon, and we will continue living our lives in a city sheltered from the power and captivity of the dark forces. Alice, having obtained the snake poison, went to the dark side in hopes of saving her uncle. I hope she will succeed.